go out and they knew that we were an offensive line driven team so they would assert that and they would lead the team by how they played not just what they were saying so you know they would just kind of take over games when it would get tough you know they would take over games they would band together cuz there was there was great chemistry with that line so just being able to bring the guys together bring the team together and rally on them um, you know, I think was a, was a big thing that I saw. Coach was saying that, you know, it's not necessarily fair to say, you know, the team didn't look good today or this or that. I mean, there were a lot of pieces missing. I mean, would you agree with that assessment rather than people jump to conclusion and say you guys didn't look good? Yeah, I mean, I was just talking with Cardell out there and, um, you know, you're so used to through 14 practices playing with the same guys and that chemistry started to develop through spring. Even though there was a lot of new faces, you start to develop a little bit of chemistry. And, um, you know, there were guys flipping sides, playing both ways. So uh, that makes it a little difficult. You're not used to playing, a, and playing with somebody. But, um, you know, that's no excuse. You still got to go out there and execute and do your job at the highest level. Speaking of playing both sides, Joel Hale making the switch from the D-line to O-line. What have you seen out of him so far? The thing with Joel Hale is he is an incredibly hard worker. So every day he comes out, he's a hard worker. Coach loves him you know, for that. He's a great leader, very vocal, and he just comes out and grinds every day. And he plays hard. And you know that's a good that's a good role model to have for anybody young. You know, even for myself to see how he goes out there and grinds every day. And he, you know, he's new to line. He doesn't necessarily know what he's doing, but he goes 100 percent. Sounds like your spot secure, Elkline spot secure. Who else this spring has kind of caught your eye on the offensive line? I, there's there's several guys. I think um, Evan Lyles won. You know, he's I think he's had a, a good spring as far as developing himself. Um, you know, he got to play a little bit of guard, a little bit of tackle, and he's just a tough kid. And um, you know, that can go a long way on the field. And Billy Price, I think he's coming along because he'll show. There'll be flashes where he'll just wow people. Uh, Tony, you know, they'll, like I said, there'll be flashes where he just, wow, Daryl Baldwin. I mean, there's there's a lot of guys coming along and progressing, but it just um, is a matter of who ends up nailing down those spots.